All right, hello YouTube. I am back with a tying video. It's been a little bit of time since uh, I've done a tying video. I've done a few fishing videos, but I've been really busy with orders lately, so I do apologize. Uh, appreciate everybody's patience on uh, getting out the next tying video. So what I have in the vise today is called a, uh, a French jig, uh, or at least it's my variation of a French jig. So uh, before I tie it, I'll go through it with you a little bit. Uh, it's tied on a, this one is on a size 14 jig hook with a 3.2 millimeter bead. Uh, I'm getting ready to go out this weekend and checking the flows. Uh, they're looking pretty high, so I'm, I'm getting some heavier flies uh, ready. Um, starting with the tail, this is black pheasant tail. Uh, the body is tied with uh, some sulky tinsel in the back with a, with a black thread body uh, with a, a, a silver wire ribbing and then uh, a UV body and then some uh, black ice dub uh, for a collar. So it's a really uh, <clears throat> effective pattern that I've been using for quite some time. So I'm going to take this one out of the vise and I will get started. I'm going to put new hook in the vise and again this is a size 14 paired with a 3.2 slotted uh, tungsten bead so I'll go through the materials here as I'm tying uh, the first thing I'm going to do on a bobbin I've got some uh, UT70 in black so I'm just going to get a base of thread here Sure, my bead's going the right way. It's got a little bit of thread there behind the bead, and then taper it down. I'm gonna snap that off and get it right down to the bend of the hook. All right, first thing I'm gonna tie in uh, the tail material is just some black uh, pheasant tail. So I'm gonna pull off about <clears throat> three or four fibers, and I'm just going to tie on a tail using that about the length of uh, about the length of the shank of the hook and then I'm just going to wrap that all the way up the bead making sure my bead is going the right way yep secure that in there and just snaps right off. All right, the next material I'm gonna tie in is uh, some silver wire. This is uh, brassy size silver. You can really use any color here. I've got a copper bead on, so I could use a copper. Um, a lot of times I'll tie this with a silver bead uh, and silver wire. Sometimes I like to match that, or um, sometimes I get a little crazy and I don't match them, um, but I really don't know that the fish notice. So uh, I'm going to tie that in and before I start to make wraps of that up I'm going to use some silky uh, or sulky rather sulky uh, silver metallic uh, tinsel. I really like uh, this tinsel. It's nice and thin. Uh, I use it for a lot of different things. I like to use it for ribbing on pheasant tails. Uh, I like to use it on my sexy waltz worm. But I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just tie that in here to the back. Sorry, I had that going the wrong way. Uh, try that again. I'm going to come in. I'm going to tie it here. I'm going to tie that all the way up, but then I'm going to come back just to form a little bit of a taper. I'm going to come back to about the halfway point of the of the fly, and then I'm going to just use be very careful here with the point of the hook because this stuff's pretty delicate. I'm going to do some wraps just up to where I tied that thread in. And then I'm going to secure that with one, two wraps. 
and then I'm going to wrap all the way back up to the bead put the thread in the slot and then hang my thread on the bobbin and I'm just going to cut that excess there so what you have now is you have uh, you have the thorax area that is all just black thread and then just that back part uh, that has that sulky tinsel. And then I'm going to start with my wire and I'm going to rib this very carefully using my rotary. I'm going to rib right over uh, the tinsel, right up the, all the way to the bead. Then I will go ahead and secure that in. One, two, three, tighten this down. All right, now I'm gonna just helicopter my wire. All right, now before I put the collar on, uh, what I wanna do is I wanna apply a little bit of UV coating. So I'm gonna be using Loon Flow here. I'm just gonna use a bodkin and I'm gonna get a thin Thin layer just to cover that and I really like that I'll just press on that I like a little bit of a contrast that you get so you get that back end of the fly with that shine and then uh, the, the the top of the fly near the thorax is that solid black I'm gonna apply my UV light my infinity light make sure that's nice and cured Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to put, last material, just some hairline, uh, ice dub, and peacock black. And I'm just going to get a tiny bit of this. I don't like a real big collar on this one. Just a little something there. Okay, just going to get a small dubbing noodle. All right, I'm just going to press that right up. Just like that and that is about a uh, half an inch of dubbing maybe just enough to go around a couple times I'm gonna bring that black thread up through it just for a little bit of durability and then last up I'm just gonna take a little bit of whoop, a little bit of Loctite a little bit of super glue and uh, you don't need a lot here so I just put a little bit of pressure just get a little glue on the thread I don't like super glue globbing everywhere and then uh, last thing I'm gonna do is whip finish take my whip finishing tool one two three four it should be good with that super glue in there nice and good lock that in and snip it off so there you go that is the French jig it is a all around fly, uh, particularly this time of year as uh, we're starting to get into the hatches, starting to get into mayfly hatches, uh, betas. Uh, I find this to be a pretty good pattern this time of year and uh, fishes pretty well through the summer. So uh, take a shot at it, get some of these in your box. Again, you can tie them in a variety of weights with a variety of beads. Uh, I'll tie this usually from a, anywhere from a 14 down to an 18 and uh, i'll vary those bead sizes as well to get a variety of this pattern so hope you enjoyed the video uh, again I'm, thanks for your patience everybody i, I have not had uh, a tying video in a little while i've been really getting a lot of uh, uh, orders for boxes so if you uh, have purchased a box from me uh, lately thank you for your business uh, they do take me a little while to tie so uh, I've been keeping pretty busy with that, and when I have a chance, I try to get out on the water. So um, thought I'd do a tying video tonight as I'm getting ready to go out this weekend. So hope to see everybody out on the water, and uh, have a great day.